Hey gorgeous souls and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos today. So today's video is about this little crystal here, this crystal that causes a lot of viral TikToks and discussions about whether it improves someone's life or ruins someone's life. I'm talking about Moldavite. And as part of my crystal series, I wanna to talk to you about how working with Moldavite over the last few months has changed my life, what's come up for me, did it ruin my life or has it improved my life? And how can you work with Moldavite? What is the hype about? Is it worth the hype? So I wanna dive into all of this with you today and share with you what's transpired in my life over the last few months, what has cleared out, what has happened, um, and whether I think it is worth all of the hype. But if you're new here to my channel, then welcome. My name is Emma. I'm an award-winning life coach and two times best-selling author. Law of Attraction YouTuber here on my channel, and I'm the host of the number one spirituality podcast on iTunes, Spiritual Queen's Badass Podcast. And here on my channel, I cover all things law of attraction, manifestation, spirituality, and self-help. So not only do I really hope you're going to enjoy this video, but the abundance of videos here on my channel over the last eight years. So like everybody, I had heard about Moldavite on TikTok because of the viral videos that have been going around about, um, uh, I mean, there's quite a few people who've spoken about, it, but one girl in particular who was like, oh my God, Moldavite, like, ended my relationship and like they lost she lost her job as well and she was like oh my god like don't get moldavite and it created all this scaremongering and fear with it so when mart from canny crystals came onto my podcast at the beginning of this year and ironically his episode is actually coming out next week here on my youtube channel so do look out for that because you'll see this whole conversation i'm referring to I took the opportunity to ask Mark because he loves Moldavite and he sells it on Canny Crystals, his um, website shop as well. So I was like, Mark, what is the hype of Moldavite? What's going on? Is it scary? Is it this like big scary crystal that we shouldn't work with? Like, what? give me the 411. And um, Mark explained, you know, that what people didn't see was that the same very girl, that video that went viral, she then posted a video uh, literally a month later, but that didn't go viral, where she said that actually on reflection, um, she found out that her boyfriend had been cheating on her. So she was like very grateful that that relationship had broken down and that she actually got offered her dream role and was now in her dream career. But of course that video didn't go viral. So most people think of Moldavite and think, oh my God, I saw that viral video. Like, ah, like it's gonna ruin your life. Um, and there's been a quite a lot of viral videos again of people saying, oh, you know, where are my girls from 2020 who got Moldavite? What happened? Where are you now? So I actually thought, although I got it like four months ago, um, I wanna share what's happened in my life, what Moldavite is, and is it actually that scary? Um, so let me show you first of all. So this is, so Mart very kindly, as you'll hear on the podcast, set me the challenge to work with Moldavite and he so kindly sent me a piece of Moldavite from his collection, from his shop, and I have been working with it ever since. So you can see it's teeny. And it reminds me, and one of my followers said this in my DMs the other day, it reminds her of kryptonite. And I was like, oh my gosh, it so does. Now you said it, I can't unsee that. So um, literally you can get it in big pieces, you can get it in small pieces. Um, but it is tiny, the piece that I have is tiny, but most of the time it's tiny. And this will set you back, this particular size, 70 to 80 pounds minimum. It is very, very expensive Moldavite. So if you are gonna work with it, you need to be prepared for the financial investment with it as well. Um, but yes, I was very kindly sent this by Mar, and I'm so, so grateful because I was really excited to accept his challenge and see how Moldavite transformed my life. So what is Moldavite then? I'm gonna read the official like Google document documentation of it so I don't get it wrong. Uh, but Moldavite is a forest green, olive green or blue greenish um, projectile glass formed from a meteorite impact in southern Germany 15 million years ago. So the reason why it's so expensive is because of how rare it is. This literally comes from a meteorite that landed on Earth 15 million years ago. So it reminds me of like Superman's kryptonite even more just by that description. So Moldavite is intense and rapid spiritual evolution and healing. You can say that again, trust me. It has very high vibrations that one can feel throughout their entire body. I definitely agree with that actually. I really do agree with that. 
Um, so the main like meanings of Moldavite is obviously that um, high vibrational, like really intense transformation. And Mark said to me when he sent this to me that it is fantastic for up leveling your money mindset, like him, his coach, and so many people who worked with Moldavite um, manifested huge, huge abundance in their businesses after working with Moldavite. Um, and also Mark warned me and he was like, there have been so many pregnancies from Moldavite, he was like, be careful. And I was like, trust me, I'm gonna be careful. That is not what is gonna be my Moldavite experience because hell no. So um, yeah, literally like he gave me all the warnings with it and I was like, right, challenge accepted. And I feel like the reason why I was excited to work with Moldavite is because I've done my Hurt Healing Heal journey. I feel like if I had had Moldavite three years ago when I started my inner work healing journey, I think, yeah, that would have been a lot more traumatic. I feel like that would have been, uh, <laughs> I probably would have been that girl on TikTok like, ah, what's happening? So has anything drastically happened in my life? No. And I think I was a bit like, okay, well, the last four years have been very like, Moldavite like as a whole like the last four years of my life have been Moldavite period before I even had Moldavite so I was very like I don't feel like there's anything drastic that's gonna clear out of my life just probably more inner work's gonna come up um I was working through some money blocks at the time so that's why I was really interested to work with it and also our house purchase was going super slow. So I was excited to see how that would speed things up because Ma also said that it can speed things up in your life really, really quickly. So the reason why people have had extreme things clear out of their life is because if something's not in alignment, it's gonna clear out. So for me, I knew that that probably wasn't gonna happen, but obviously I stayed, I stayed humble because I was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything just in case, but no, nothing like drastic has cleared out of my life. Um, I would just say it's helping me to elevate into this new season of my life with the new home, new level, new devil with money, like this next level in my business. So actually, yes, the money manifestation was a huge one. So Mark sent this to me, I swear it was like right at the end of January. So I got it like the 1st of Feb or something like that. And literally January, February, March and April have been my highest revenue months in the business since I started like seven years ago. So I'm like, okay, well it's definitely helped elevate the money side of things like for sure, like supercharge that, like that absolutely I can wholeheartedly say, yes, that has supercharged that money side of things. It's brought up money blocks definitely, which again is gonna help me to up level to those new heights and clear the way for abundance. So that's definitely some inner work, but interesting, what I didn't expect it to bring up was childhood stuff. So I feel like I constantly work on that anyway through my PTSD sessions, through my EMDR sessions with my PTSD counselor. Like I do a lot of that anyway, but it was like this new layer had come up and it has been at times really, really like, oh my God, like I'm back in the inner work. Oh, so that has probably been the not so fun part of Moldavite is, you know, that coming up and having to process that. But I do feel, even though it's only four months in, I do feel really grateful that has come up because I've been able to put boundaries in that I haven't been able to before, which feels so good. And I've also been able to look at those situations in a new light and find healing with that, which I hadn't previously. So although it's really annoying that I've had to like, you know, do more inner work and focus on more things like to do with trauma, actually, I feel like it's, and it's moved quite quickly as well, definitely. I agree with that kind of like fast paced healing. Um, it's definitely allowed me to unlock a new layer and unlock a new healing that maybe I hadn't had before with all of the other things that I've been doing over the years for healing. So it has brought up in a work, absolutely, but I did expect that. That is not a shock to me and I'm glad it has because better out than in as I always say. But I feel like the biggest transformations with Moldavite have been um, that with the childhood trauma side of things. Um, money, definitely huge transformations of money, like the money coming into the business, but also my money mindset as well and beliefs being transformed. The only thing it hasn't supercharged, which was the whole reason of getting it, was the house purchase. That continues to be a very slow process and frustrating. Um, so I would have liked that to have sped up with Moldavite, but it hasn't. And it was even more delayed than it was before. So 
the, the, her house hasn't been supercharged by Moldavai, but I believe in divine timing. And the one thing that I continually get throughout this whole process is timing, 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 timing. So I'm not mad at that because obviously like I trust in the timing, like the fact that it is delayed is allowing me to get some other stuff out the way to create more time to move more seamlessly. So I'm seeing all the positives with that of actually, I think that's just timing. And I think, you know, there's some blocks that have come up with that. So actually I think there's been more inner work with that side of stuff rather than, um, like supercharging the speed of it. But the inner work is important with it because then when we do move into that house, it's gonna feel like really good. I'm gonna be energetically aligned to that. So I would say it's inner work that has come up the most with Moldavite, which is not a shock at all. Like that is literally what it does on the tin, right? But I think the money manifestation has been the icing on the cake and the positive side of Moldavite, but it is all positive, it is all positive. It is just that like, oh, more inner work or oh, I can't do the inner work. So my experience of Moldavite has been good, but ironically, Luna keeps blooming stealing this. So I've kept it. So Mart sent it in this really nice drawstring bag with a little wooden chip that says Moldavite on it. And I would show you it, but it's got teeth marks in it because Luna jumps up on, I keep it by my bedside table, this. She jumps up on my bed, jumps on the bedside table, steals this and runs downstairs and I have to chase her and get it out of her mouth. So thank God I've kept it in this bag. Otherwise, Luna probably would have digested the Moldavite a long time ago. And I would have been mad, <laughs> so mad at that. So clearly the dog feels like she needs the Moldavite as well. But um, I did tell Mark that and he was laughing. He was like, it's probably Luna reminding you to work with it and saying, mum, you need to work with this crystal. So that's what I'm choosing to see it as. But the dog loves it, clearly I love it. And I do feel like it has been a really positive addition to my life. And I feel like just with anything, like, like I said, if I had that crystal three years ago, oh my gosh, the things that I went through probably would have been 10 times more dramatic, like quicker happening, which probably would may have been a good thing in the long run, who knows? But you know, I trust the timing in my life of that crystals come into my life at this season in my life. And if you are working with Moldavite or you're thinking about working with Moldavite, don't let TikTok or don't let those videos scaremonger you because it's, everybody's experiences are gonna be different. It's what you choose to experience with that crystal. If you go in with fear, what are you gonna attract? Oh, more reasons to be fearful because of the law of attraction. We know the law of attraction is always working. So it's like with anything, if people fear or scaremonger about Mercury retrograde, you're going to experience that frustration because you are attracting it to you through the law of attraction. So go in with Moldavite with an open mind, go in with that open mind, open heart and allow yourself, allow your life to be transformed. So if things aren't in alignment, yeah, they probably are gonna fall away, but that's not a negative thing. That's Moldavite helping you to get you onto the track, get you onto the place where you need to be to receive the very abundance and manifestations that you want to receive. If you're wanting to upgrade your money mindset, Moldavite is, yeah, I highly recommend it for that. It's really helped me. Like, like I said, I've had the biggest revenue months in my business I've ever had these last few months, which feels so amazing and so good. And I definitely feel like there's been a block that's kind of unblocked with that so that it's just poured in almost effortlessly, which is, you know, freaking here for that, hell yes. So definitely money mindset. If you're wanting to work on money mindset, up leveling your like money level and capacity to receive money, 100% Moldavite. And like I said, Mart's had the same, Mart's coach also had the same. Mart was telling me a lot of stories about big money manifestations. And actually, yes, when Mart, yes, oh my gosh, of course this makes sense. So not only have I seen these huge increases in my business, so Mart sent this to me before we even had our mortgage and principal, we were going through the process as I received this. And obviously at the time I was like, well, I wanna improve like, you know, what I'm receiving in the business, but we also need 100K for this house because, um, I'll explain the whole story in the house manifestation story. So Moldavite was in my life when I manifested that 100K we needed for the house. So again, like that was a huge thing that I'd never been able to do before. And I had to do it in a quick period as well. We had like a two week period where this came through. So I really feel like that quickness and that money up leveling 100% Moldavite was supporting as well. But when I got Moldavite, obviously like it, you can feel its powerful presence. Like. 
I have a ton of crystals. I have, I have a lot of crystals in this house and I've worked with a lot of crystals over the years. And I would say this is the one crystal that like I just showed up with like so much respect for. Like when I was just holding it, I was like, I can feel your presence. Like I can feel like the presence, the power of this crystal. And like, I just had this like overwhelming respect for this crystal as well. I respect all my crystals, but like just that feeling of like respect and honor and like, wow, like I know you're going to teach me like huge things things and like I'm open and ready for that. So I just really sat with the crystal. I didn't really feel like I wanted to spend too much time with it. Like I was kind of like, right, yeah, I feel like that's enough. I'm gonna put it by my bedside table. But I definitely just like held the crystal and just spoke to the crystal and set some intentions with the crystal and cleansed it. Um, and yeah, just really allowed the crystal to teach me what it wanted to come into my life and teach me about. Um, so I'm still working with Moldavite. Obviously this is not the end of my Moldavite journey by no means. Um, hopefully Luna's not gonna eat it anytime soon or steal it at all. Like, I don't know why, like she does not touch any of my other crystals, like none, but this she seems obsessed with. So she either needs it herself and wants to work with it or she is reminding me constantly of like, mum, work with the crystal, touch the crystal, talk to the crystal. So um, she is definitely my positive reminder with that. But I don't tend to work with it every day or, you know, I think like, oh, you know, I'll hold it once a week and feel into it, et cetera, et cetera. But I would say like, this is the one crystal that I'm proactively working with the most at the moment. And the one that I feel the most called to as well. So if you feel called to work with Moldavite, there's probably a reason why it will come into your life at the right time. And I hope that this, well, again, like I don't feel like there was huge things that needed to purge out of my life in the first place, but I know that had I have had this crystal in a different season of my life, um, this video would probably be a very different. So if you're someone like me who has been doing the inner work for years, like you're very on it, like you, you've you read her Healing Healed, you're, you know, you're very proactive and aware and, you know, allow, you know, you if you're on the spiritual path, probably a lot of these things have happened already in your life, things clear clearing out, new abundance coming in. So I just don't think that there's anything huge that could happen unless you really were living totally out of alignment, right? And although if anything does happen, although obviously it can feel intense at the time and you're like, whoa, what is happening? Like in this woman's case on TikTok, like she felt like a whole life was falling apart. But then in that one month, like again, super quick, remember Moldavite is super quick. She found out that that boyfriend had been cheating on her and she'd got offered her dream job and was now in her dream career, way better than where she was before. So we just have to, Ironically, trust in that process, trust in Moldvite's journey and trust in the clearing out is creating the space for that aligned abundance and bigger, better abundance to come into your life. So it is that trusting process. It can feel scary. It can feel like, oh my God, things are falling away. But whether you had Moldvite or not, that's still probably gonna happen in your life as you go along your spiritual journey, as you connect with the law of attraction and manifestation more, you work with crystals, you work with different tools, like those things are gonna happen. Moldvite just supercharges it all. It kind of just brings it all to the forefront, supercharges everything and is like, right, let's get that job done. So Moldvite feels like a very Virgo energy of like, let's get this job done. Like you want alignment, you want abundance. I'm gonna bring that to you, but I'm gonna help you clear out everything really, really quick. And I definitely think that the quickness is there, like with the money manifestation for our mortgage, um, just money manifestation in general, I felt quickness with definitely with Moldvite. But I think even the level that I'm working through that inner work definitely is not sticking. Like it is passing through quickly and I am taking action and doing the right healing modalities, you know, to accompany that. So I am taking action with that inner work coming up. So of course I would be moving through it quickly. So I feel like, yeah, I just feel like deeper layers have come up. I feel like all the money and abundance is like happening, which hell yes, we're here for. Um, and I just feel like it is allowing me to reach new levels of alignment and money and this new season of my life that kind of felt hugely blocked for a while actually. So I feel like it's come in and really unblocked that in an amazing way. So 
this is my reminder to sit with the mold right today and ask her to help to unblock the house process. So I'm gonna be doing that in a sweet second. Um, but I would highly recommend Moldavite. Like, obviously it's a teeny tiny piece here. Um, so you don't need a huge expensive piece to work with it. Like I've been working with that tiny piece there and it feels amazing. So um, if you do want to check it out, I will link Mark's Canny Crystals website below because Mark is fantastic and his crystals are amazing. And he is the one person I know in the UK who sells um, Moldavite and I'm sure he ships internationally as well. So if you're not in the UK, then you can absolutely access it as well. But allow your Moldavite journey to be what it needs to be don't go in with like you know expectations from my video or any other videos that you've watched like you know yourself better than anybody else and you can handle it the universe is not gonna bring anything into your life that you're not able to handle so you know go in gently like when you get the more divide just like i did sit with it feel its presence like you will feel its presence trust me and just set some intentions of maybe some places where you want that speed, maybe some places where you need that transformation in your life, maybe some places where you've got some blocks or inner work that you really want to shift through. So if somebody, like if I was to say, who would I recommend this crystal for? I I would say I would recommend it for someone like myself, definitely, but I wouldn't say it's be, like I wouldn't say it's like, you know, you could do it in other ways as well, but I absolutely am so glad I have done my Moldavite journey and continue to do my Moldavite journey. But I would say this would be really good for someone who really wants to either up level their money mindset, who really wants to bust through money blocks, who wants to bring more money into their life, who maybe needs speediness to a situation. Maybe you've got a house situation similar to mine. Maybe you want things sped up in your life if it's felt blocked for a while. Maybe you're feeling unaligned. Maybe you're feeling that you want some more alignment in your life with your desires and with yourself. Uh, maybe the inner work's coming up. If you know you've got inner work, then amazing crystal for that. It is gonna bring it up and you are gonna work through it. So I would suggest getting Hurt Healing Healed, my book with your Moldavite so that you have the tools to work through it when it does come up. But all of these things together are just, you know, they're fantastic tools to use. So there's not a right or wrong way of, should you use Moldavite, should you not? Like you're gonna feel drawn to exactly the tools, books, resources, or methods that you need to work with. And clearly I needed to work with Moldavite, Mark knew, and I'm so glad I have. But ironically, you know, Mark did say that he'd also spoken to other people who had gone on their Moldavite journey and completely did not like it, got rid of it, and did not wanna go anywhere near it. So, Everybody's gonna have a different Moldavite story. And at the end of the day, if something's gonna come up, it's always gonna come up, whether you use Moldavite or you don't use Moldavite, right? So even if you put it to the side and you're like, nope, didn't like that, then that thing is still gonna come up eventually in one way or another. So I always think it's better to face things head on and to have that thing come up so that you can release it better out than in. You do not want that energy within you. You do not want those things within you because you're blocking that abundance still. You wanna be that clear vessel to receive. You wanna have that clear energy. You wanna be in that clear vibration and alignment to create the space for your desires and manifestations and abundance to come to you. So I think there will always be extreme examples of everything if someone really is living out of alignment or they're not being in alignment with themselves. And you'll have those kind of more subtler experiences, maybe like mine, where I do a lot of this work anyway and it, nothing's a huge surprise. Well, actually, no, things have been a huge surprise. I, I will be honest about that with the inner work, especially the childhood stuff. I was like, whoa, like, okay, hello. But I'm so glad that I'm working through that because it feels so good. And it feels like, yes, like this is that sweet spot I've been wanting to feel within myself and with the business and with money and abundance. So it is all really positive. And I'm very interested to see how Moldavite continues to transform my life and everybody else's life who is working with Moldavite. So I just wanted to share my experiences with you to put your mind at ease if you do feel drawn to work with Moldavite that it's not always this huge, horrific, life altering crystal that's gonna cause chaos. Um, and actually that if we don't see the after stories from a lot of these people, how do we know actually how their life did transform in so many wonderful ways? So um, as I always say, the universe never subtracts. The universe only ever subtracts to add even better into your life. You're never left without. So even if things are clearing through your life or clearing out of your life, know that something better is on its way very, very soon for you. But if you've worked with Moldavite, I would love to hear your experiences. What did you experience? What came up for you? 
tell me what happened. I would love, love to hear because it's so fascinating how everybody has such a different experience with Moldavite and how, you know, we can use this amazing crystal to supercharge so much in our life, whether it's money, clearing out, speeding up situations, like Moldavite is a really powerful crystal and I would highly recommend it to everybody, <laughs> but you gotta feel drawn to work with it, right? You gotta feel that drawnness to it. But I will link Mart's website below with the Moldavite link so you can go and have a look for yourself and see if you feel cool to work with it. But let me know your experiences. I'd love to know if you came to this video because you're working with Moldavite already or what's happened for you. Let me know below and I'm sure everybody else watching would love to hear what's happened in your life with Moldavite too. But thank you so much gorgeous souls for watching. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all. And don't forget you can also join my free Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook where you can join myself and other like-minded souls where we talk all things manifestation and spirituality. But I hope you have a fabulous day, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you all in my next video, which will be on Friday. Lots of love.